Welcome to Fashion and Lifestyle. I'm Siobhan Harton and tonight we're out of the studio with, uh, at the VC Centre on the Dublin Road going into Cavan and it's uh, Brian is out there with Creative Initiatives, sorry Creative Initiatives and at the Creative Initiatives there's students featuring arts, crafts and design, computer games and design, engineering technology, future furniture design, multimedia and web development and makeup artistry. So we'll see Brian talking to furniture designers and makeup artistry. Over to Brian. We're at the Cavan Institute Creative Initiative Exhibition at the, the new V Centre on the Dublin Road and we have Max who's a tutor at the centre and we have James who's a student. Max, the um, woodwork normally associated with the building industry but you have created a new level of um, initiatives and pieces that can be born out in timber. That's right, um, as we all know the, the building industry in Ireland has kind of died for the moment so what we're trying to do here is educate students to be more artistic and creative in terms of craftsmanship to come up with um, unique furniture concepts and we, we have a number of different subjects here where we teach We've um, veneering and marquetry which we feature in the, the top of this table for example the chess table we've got wood turning in the base of it furniture making and also materials and finishes and next year we're, we're happy to start a, a wooden boat building course which we've got an example behind you here a large canoe built by some students from Bethany College and um, the whole idea is to, to educate students to find new new niches in the market when the traditional niches might have dried up and, and now we'll go to James. James, I'm sure when you had told somebody that you're thinking of doing carpentry, people said, geez, what opportunities are there for carpentry? But you can see from some of the work here, um, it has completely changed and the style now has, has given you avenues for, for woodwork. To be honest, uh, the teachers of the secondary schools are really pushing against it, but at the same time, it, getting into a, a career like this and on the basis that uh, it's so down at the minute, we we'll create more innovativeness in uh, this country. Yeah, but normally on, on woodwork people associated with the building industry, which is in the line now, but uh, in the timber work that you're working on through the, the institute here is that um, it's, you have architectural features, you have art features, so it must uh, be good for you so that you're able to give, get new opportunities uh, to work in timber. Oh yes, there's a lot more creativeness uh, involved, and uh, that, is a, that is always a good thing to have and to have new concepts come in and based on the uh, needs of Ikea at the minute uh, I'd say real furniture needs to come back. And Max it must have been um, for you to move away from the traditional uh, form of, of timber work to something like this it, it must have been a, a bit of a change for you also. Well yeah but uh, that's one of the great things we can learn to adapt to adapt and to change with times as as things change to change with them and make the most out of the circumstances you're faced with so for likes so of these students they all have different circumstances coming into our course but they come out of here having learned uh, new creative sides of their personality so they can they can apply that not only to furniture making but to other aspects and we all know um, entrepreneurs of the future the the key um, how should I say the key attributes and skills they need is creativity and flexible thinking. So that's what we're trying to foster here. And also with timber, there's a wide variety of timber. So, and I can see from the particular piece here that you're describing the number of different colors. So that's probably a key part. With, with could maybe you describe the, the different types of timber. Sure. Well, we try to use native Irish hardwoods as much as we can, but they're in limited supply at the moment despite the downturn in the economy. So um, a lot of what we use is actually imported American hardwoods. In this one here we use maple, oak, cherry and walnut. And they're both in their, in their solid natural state and also in veneer form on man-made substrates. Uh, they're, they flex less and they, they provide a more homogeneous surface to veneer onto. And James, it must have been 
Well, what would you call it? For you to, to, to enter into what would you deem the uh, timber or that type of thing, to, 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 like all these concepts now with, with different usages of timber, would, would you, how would your knowledge have, have changed in relation to timber? People normally just see a tree on the side of the road or something and think, you know, that's all there is to it. But y your views must have changed radically when you, you started this course. Well, definitely now, uh, based on based the prices, pricing of uh, timber in, uh, worldwide, uh, basically import everything and to run a business the price of that now there's a lot lot more going on about maybe in the future running my own business and i know a lot more now than i did at the start of this course yeah, of course the economy now being the state is in it, it's it's opportunistic for students because the, the emigration trail was was nearly the only thing that was considered for some people so you'd see that there are good opportunities for um, irish students especially in in a, a different market for timber I'd say if there's someone willing to work for it, willing to really work for it, there's definitely, there's definitely opportunities out there. Definitely, there's always niches. And Max, the enthusiasm from your students, uh, you would see that every day, that it's not just a mundane type of thing, that, that you have introduced a, a lot of different elements into it to give them enthusiasm and give them encouragement so that they know that there's future opportunities for them in employment and um, even self-employment. Absolutely, and it's not just giving them enthusiasm, it's always also taking it from them. Students are younger, they're fresher, they come in here with bright new ideas, they fire us on. It's students rubbing off each other to create the ideas for what we're doing here. They, they inspire us, we inspire them, it's, it's a kind of a homogenous circle going around. And that's, that links into what we're trying to do. We've started off here with uh, FITAC Level 5 and 6 in furniture making and we're trying to feed that into a FITAC Level 5 boat building course which is it's kind of looking at a different aspect, but thinking, Cavan's got 365 lakes, we've got wood here, we've got skills with wood, why not do something like this? There aren't many courses in Ireland doing this, we can do this. We've got, we've got the skills, we've got the materials, we've got the students willing to come in and do it. This is a great opportunity. Yeah, so the use of timber is not just for holding slates up, you have <laughs> numbers of different applications for timber. Absolutely. Even... If when you consider on the floor here we've got um, sawdust brought in from the workshop just as a, a decorative aid for the exhibition. Uh, there are local companies that uh, bail that into biomass fuel for heating. There are, there are all these, these different opportunities. There are other courses here in Kevin Institute like renewable energy where they talk about stuff like that. And when you think about it in a broader aspect, they're all linked. Furniture, renewables, it's all dealing with natural raw materials and how to make the best use of them. We're with Vicky and Vicky has a, um, a very elaborate and very colourful um, exhibition here so uh, maybe you talk us through where you got your inspiration from. Oh, it's basically I just got my inspiration from nature, basically looking at the photos of different landscapes and just even this is the devil look and see the colours are really hot and it's summertime is coming up that's why I wanted to do something original and that's so maybe you describe the fabrics. First of all, there are important different features of it. There's the fabrics, and then there's the jewellery, and then there's the colour, and and then of course I can see two horns here. But maybe we'll go through the fabrics first. Maybe you uh, give us some details on your choice of fabric. I'm actually, I'm actually, I don't know any of them fabrics. <laughs> I'm really bad at them. But all I can say is, I came into the shop, I saw these. I just fell in love with these and I was like, I'm going to make a dress right. and I just bought them and... And of course, <laughs> and, and any of these creations, applications for them, where would you visualise that um, your creative side could have applications? Oh, pretty much anywhere, you know. In parties or, you know, in... Is it in exhibitions or for promotional material from maybe corporations that might want promotional special effects that, that, that people yeah, can be even, very striking? Yeah, sure. It, it might be also inspiration for loads of people, but just looking at it, like, I mean, why not? If somebody here, uh, you know, would look for the idea for something, I mean, for a photo shoot or even a movie, they would probably get some kind of inspiration from this look. So and, and the time taken for this, it, it, this doesn't, doesn't happen in a couple of minutes, so maybe you go no, through the time taken. Uh, actually, the actual dress, it took me about a week to do. It's all handmade. I did it myself, all of it. And um, makeup today, it took me six hours. 
as you can see, I covered all the body in makeup. It's like body art, everything, everything is done. And the hair as well. I didn't do the hair, my hairdresser did. And it took her two hours to do the hair. Yeah, so. And, and what's your model's name? Nelly. And maybe Nelly, uh, there's a lot of preparation for you, so you must have been very patient, um, knowing what the outcome was going to be. I didn't understand the question. The outcome. Oh, the outcome. Well, I think my look is the best one. Of, of course it is, but you must. What I mean is that the time taken to get um, get your arms covered and legs and and get the um, horns and your hair sort of so it, you'd have been very you'd have had to spend quite a time to get this no, I was I was giving myself to my friend you know so and the colors you have you seem to have colors red and, and black and yellow where would the inspiration for the colors have come from it's it's just uh, basically the devil look all I can think of is fire something dark and you know something really colorful as well the color of the fire, yellow, orange, and red. And of course, black, it's like, you know, the dark side. We're with Cynthia and Patricia from the Institute at a, at a very spectacular um, artwork and, and um, creative piece here in the VEC Centre. Maybe you talk us through some of the work. Yeah, we're showing live models here tonight at um, the Further Education and Training Centre here in Cavan. And these, this is the work of the makeup artistry students in Cavan. Now, this is normally a creative exhibition where people show art and craft and design. And we felt that makeup artistry should be part of that. It's very creative what the students do and achieve. And the applications for that, some people would say, you know, maybe promotional stuff. Or, and Cavan is fortunate that, that, that there's a lot of enterprise now with Philip Doherty and um, Seamus O'Rourke and, and a number of, of uh, theatre initiatives. So you would see that the makeup is important in, in those places. Absolutely. Uh, the students are trained through uh, fashion makeup, through special effects. They can work in film, TV, theatre. Of course, they, they work and pick up jobs locally, but we like to see them as international students. And, you know, our students expect to travel the world, do work experience, you know, all over the world. So it's great that they can find work locally, but, but some of them will broaden their horizons by travelling and going overseas. And the courses, are, of course, are um, accredited courses. Uh, up to what level? Well, at level five at the minute in Cavan Institute, it's makeup artistry, but we're hoping to expand that into the level six makeup artistry in the future. They can always go on and do level six fashion buying and promotion, in which they learn the business aspect of makeup artistry and the, the promotional aspect as well. So they can really stay to level six and then consider going over to the UK and going further to do degree. And, and beyond. The crash simulation that was covered in the Question Centre last year, that was a very effective uh, piece to, and, and a lot of your students would have participated in that, so there must have been a great opportunity to showcase. Absolutely, it was a hands-on way for the students to learn what it is to work on location, to work on something that's real outside of the college, and we would do that on a regular basis. All our students do work experience, they work in theatre, film, and also in the fashion industry, but it is great to, to showcase their skills broadly and ultimately build up their portfolios. And getting placements for those, you said that the work in those, so you obviously look for placements in different areas, and that's also a good experience for them. It's absolutely terrific uh, experience. Our students are highly trained when they go to work experience. They have a good work ethic and they can really add something for the short time that they are in a business or, you know, or organization. Yeah, so students, it's important when they're taking courses, especially with the present economic climate, that they feel that they have opportunities uh, for employment. So you'd feel that what, what, what they're going through and the experience that they're getting uh, leaves them ideally placed for employment. Absolutely, they're getting industry experience, hands-on industry experience, but they're also adding things to their CVs. You know, and at Cavan Institute, it's not just about depth of learning, it's with getting out there, doing smaller courses, applying those skills in industry is really important. And at the end of the day, they're adding to their CV, which makes them more employable. Well, that's great news for the students, which is um, when you hear about um, having emigration and things. So uh, having opportunities that for students, that's fantastic. And thank you very much for, for talking to us on, on Cavan TV. Thank you very much. And now we have to go to a commercial break.